We're back. 2023 edition of uh, PB and J uh, Cooks in the Great Frozen North. And as a gift from her daughter Jessica, uh, Christine, Virginia. Virginia, sorry, Virginia. Um, we have our super outfits we're going to put on. All right, yes, on. Virginia, Virginia ordered them through Maureen. Somehow they, Maureen, her girlfriend, had it made for us. Because Maureen's the first girl I kissed. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, it can't be the same. No. no. Maureen McGovern? No, that's a singer. What's her name? Maureen? We Shevly. just talked about this the other day. Maureen. No, the Maureen I said. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Behind Pop. I know who you mean, but I... Oh, um... Moran. Maureen Moran, Eminem. So yes. here we are, PB and J's family recipes. Pretty cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Here I don't know go. if it will improve the cooking. <laughs> I doubt that. But uh, give it a try. Give it a shot. <laughs> Tie this bastard backwards. Can't get my, you want me to help you? I'm almost there. My arm is twisted. <sighs> All right. Hey, I'm ready there to we go. The shelves. Must be professional. Pull down the shelves. In yes. The EP. Yes. Yes. All right. This is a. Uh, I don't know what this recipe is. To be honest with you. Somebody out there put it on the Bound Fine Family Recipe website. And if you know who you are, please let us know. Yeah, really. Because usually I put at the bottom of the recipe who gave it or made it up or whatever. And right. This is called BLT Eggs. And there's a reason we're doing this mystery recipe. Patricia, you want to tell them what happened? Well, I had an avocado that I needed to use. And this recipe included an avocado. So, it's because of one fruit from South America. One low-hanging fruit that's probably... 50 or 100 days past its prime, we are making BLT <laughs> eggs. Okay, so to have BLT eggs, you have to have four slices of bacon. And here we have at least half of a hog. <laughs> Way more than we need. Six eggs. This is a cool uh, egg thing. It's called pasture raised, and it has a seal farm on it where you can, should be in there, sure enough is. It's got a little, uh, tells you about the farm where the eggs came from, and you can go look at the chickens making eggs, and it's neat. I just think it's neat. Two tablespoons of sour cream, two tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of hot sauce, one, three medium tomatoes chopped. Look at that presentation, it's everything, huh? <laughs> um, one avocado peeled, pitted, and chopped, which we'll do here in a second. Half a package of fresh spinach. Right here. Which is way more than we need, so you only need we'll about a handful of else, yeah. yo Half a cup of shredded uh, pepper jack. I couldn't find uh, Sargento, so I had to go for the craft, but it's better than house blend. <laughs> And then salt, pepper to taste. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to four get four of these four slices of bacon cooked, mommy style. Ah. Okay. Slaughtered and uh, burnt. burnt. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me stop this. Start it again when you're burning the. So we got the video go. We got the video. Got the bacon cooking here. Looks like it's getting pretty close to being uh, crispy. Once it gets done, then you wrap it in a paper towel, let it cool, while you do the rest of the recipe. Using the baking pan, put bacon pan. Put the spinach, tomatoes, and avocados into the pan and cover. Before we do that, though, we have to Cut peel the and Please. chop the avocado. Show how it's done. It's already made for television. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, look at that. It falls right apart. This thing is so fresh. Then you give it a whack. Good job. It should come out, but it doesn't. Turn. Oh, put don't it in your hand. Yeah. Just don't whack your hand. Don't whack your hand. In theory. This is not a teaching moment. This, why is it sticky? <laughs> so. Why is it sticky? <laughs> it's quite a right. It was stuck. Alright, so peel it. Look, this is disgusting. All right, I'll do it. How about that? Yeah. I will do it. Okay? And you, you go wash it. All right. Yes. It's not hard to do. There's a rule. It was stuck in here. Yeah. Growing roots. <laughs> a little uh, glue. I don't know what the deal was. I'm going to put the bacon in this. Okay. I need... And then you're going to chop it up. Okay. And do what? It's a piece of it. Use the okay. bacon for this fish. I like to have a garbage bowl. That's right, garbage bowl is good. I don't think you're supposed to be making sounds. I probably. <laughs> yeah, not I just don't like the feeling of it. It's yes, slimy. it is a little more shy. That looks small enough. What is this boogie on it? See, I'm telling you, it was growing a tree. It was. All right, then do the other one. Just that's chopped. Use the bag, put the spinach, tomatoes, and avocado into the paper. All right, so. All of this goes in here, or do we want to beat the eggs? Oh, in the pan. Goes in the pan. Don't you think it should be on? Not yet, because we have to put the other stuff in. Alright. It's hot enough anyway, bro. Okay. Let's wash these. Tomatoes. Great. And, yeah, what was the other thing? Spinach. The spinach is already washed by clean hands in South Africa. Yeah. And this is how many ounces this thing? This is five ounces, and this thing calls for about three ounces. So about, I'm going to use about half of this package of uh, spinach. Now this gets chopped too? That gets also? chopped too, yeah. Okay. Good thing you uh, didn't chop it up. That's, Pat, that's the wrong bowl. It's usually a little closer than me, I guess. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Three of them. Now, what's next? Not here Does it need to be chopped? chopped. Okay. Goodness. Oh, 
crazy. Okay. Chop it, chop it, chop. The great thing about spinach is by the time she's done chopping all this, it'll come out to be about that big around. We got the three, we got the three, uh, the avocado, the spinach, and the onion, the tomato in here. It says mix well and then cover. Oh, excuse me. Cooking it on low until the spinach wilts. And of course, it's cooked in the baking grease, so. Let it cook. Meanwhile, heat eggs and sour cream together in a bowl. Okay, well, pause a minute while we get some a bowl rinsed out. How many eggs do we say? Six. Six eggs. Are you sure? Six eggs. Oh, you can do it. All right, well, can we? Why didn't you crack it over there? I don't know. Okay, sorry. Okay. I think you should do it. <laughs> I was overzealous. You I don't usually, crack it on the edge of the... I, I usually don't. I do a one-hand crack. That's what I just did, a one-hand crack. Know. You got six in there? Got six in there. Now we need sour cream. Two tablespoons. That's which it? is going to be three, six, six teaspoons. Teaspoons. Because we couldn't find the tablespoon. tablespoon thingy. We'll find it right after we're done with the video. Yes. Mix them together, beat yep. them together. I don't usually use this, but we we can. No, it just, when I turned the bowl, it made a sound. China closet today. I know, I'm not too. Right. Well, 
old-fashioned one. Which is better anyway. I think it's mixed pretty well anyway. Now what? Still waiting on this. This, uh, you had to thing. crush the. Um, I did that. Okay. You told the people? No, they could have seen me. Mm -hmm. You have sour cream on your nose. <laughs> okay. okay. Oil, how much? Two tablespoons, it says. So, two shots. Is that extra piece of bacon? You already stole bacon, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Couldn't wait, could you? Couldn't Pat? wait. Delicious. We did go out to dinner last night. We went to uh, Riverbend? No. River House, I think. Yeah, River House in uh, Blasco. Blasco. It yeah. was good. Uh, what I have, New York strip with uh, red wine sauce. Yes, yeah. And you had eggplant parmesan. Parmesan. It's good. Phyllis had a Fish. cod sandwich yeah. or something, right? Yes. Yep. It was all good. Yes. The whole thing was done. Well. Okay, that's done. Now let's start eating this up. Six. My stove I just takes a long time. No, I always get the wrong burner. Oh, okay. Is it on? It's on. Good. Bring it down. Alright, so we heat up the... Oil. Oil until it gets a little bubbly and then <coughs> drop this mixture in. Got some green things floating Might in there. Might be a little sure. spinach. A little spinach floating in there. Uh, once the oil heats up, it then beats to the pan, then add the hot sauce and bacon and cook for about five minutes until they're almost done. Then you add the spinach and tomato avocado mix to the eggs, mix them all together, then top it off with the cheese. And, cheese. and does it go in the oven? Nope. It, no? Should wow. be hot enough to melt the cheese. Okay. What about the salt and pepper? When does that go in and where? To taste. So whatever you want to. Okay. Go ahead, put some. Liven it up. A couple of pinches of salt. I should mix it, I guess, huh? Couldn't have been a Valentine. No. <clears throat> I'm sorry to say. It has sour cream in it, so it's not. I'm not a fan of it. I'm looking for the uh, flat. You were using it. This one. Oh. That, well, this is fine. Doesn't it look like a lot of oil to you? Well, we'll see. All right, so she is stirring the eggs, the uh, 
tomato avocado mixture is resting next to her. <clears throat> Once the oil heats up, add eggs, add the hot sauce and bacon and cook stirring frequently. Okay, so the hot sauce is how much? One tablespoon <clears throat> is three teaspoons. Like I said, this is called BLT, no, yes, BLT eggs. <clears throat> but we decided it should be BST because yeah, it's spinach. The There's no L. I know. What happened? It's love. Shoot me now. So I'm thinking one tablespoon of oil would have been more than enough. We should have just gone with butter. That would have made it better, no matter what. With what? Use butter instead of the butter. I know, because even if you put too much butter, it's always better. That's right. Put a pound of butter in there, it'd be great. Okay, this looks good. Mixing the two together, <clears throat> stir it up, stir it up. I need to get this over there so I can get a picture on top of it. The cheese is melting, looking good. We'll let you know how it tastes here in a second. This is what we're having. It's in a serving dish, ready to go. Maybe you can smell it. It's in one of those, uh, the Four Tops Temptation dish. Good job. Well, then in that case, it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> 